Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. Hey, over the next couple weeks, we're gonna really focus on some Montana wildlife. Now you guys know Zoo Montana, we're here in Billings, Montana. Those of you that are watching from outside the state, Montana is awesome when it comes to wildlife. In fact, we have over 10,000 different species of animals. Most of those are bugs or insects of some sort, but we have amazing wildlife. So what we're gonna do is over the next couple weeks is talk about different areas of wildlife. We're going to start with reptiles and amphibians, then mammals, and then birds, and then kind of talk about different animals in between there. Now, let's start with reptiles. Now, here in Montana, we've got 15 different, I'm sorry, 19 different reptile species and 15 different amphibian species. And I wanted to show you two of, I think, the more unique reptiles we have here, right here in our state. And I like to show these two because they're small, so you don't get to see them that often out and about. Now, we've met these two before, but my gosh, they're just so cool. You just can't get enough of them. First of all, this little guy right here, this is Grumpy, and he's named Grumpy because he's very grumpy. He's what we call a western hog-nosed snake, and get this, there's a lot of debate whether or not this snake is venomous or not. Yikes, and here I am holding him. Now, the one thing is, is that even if he did bite me, he's so small, his venom, not very potent, and his venom, he doesn't have the a proper teeth, proper fangs, to put that venom deep into my blood supply like a rattlesnake would. So I'm not too worried about him biting me if he does. Now, the other snake here, also a little grumpy. Maybe it's that little snake syndrome. I don't know. But this is the milk snake. And what a beautiful, beautiful animal this is. It, obviously, this is. Now, when you look at these two animals, of course, what makes a reptile a reptile, they're cold-blooded. Of course, that's the biggest thing. And scales. You're going to look for those scales. Now, in Montana, everybody thinks that we just have snakes. But no, we have lizards, too. And you may have seen some of my videos where we talked about the fence lizards and some of those other cool lizards that you can find even right here in Billings up on the rims. On top of that, we have skinks, and then of course the amphibians, things like the tiger salamander, which I've talked about before, not to mention the different frogs and toads that call Montana home as well. Now what's interesting is that Montana is a tough place for a reptile or an amphibian to live because they are cold-blooded. So in the wintertime, they have to hibernate or they have to find a rock or a cave or something to sleep the winter away because being cold-blooded, you're dependent on the temperature around you when it's negative 10 degrees outside, obviously you're not going to move real quick. So, despite that, that's why we are not known to have that many reptile or amphibian species here in the state. But boy, those that we do have, awesome. Just love them. And in the summertime, look out for these guys. Pick up some rocks, look for them. But do remember, we do have rattlesnakes here, so be careful when you're out and about. But guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with Grumpy and the Milk Snake here. What a beautiful duo of snakes. Awesome. See you next time.